simply spectacular. Just how many different types of food are there here? This looks... more than edible. I believe this is what they call an imperial breakfast? That's right, Emma. It's a traditional Erebonian style of breakfast. I must apologize. It's taken me some time to familiarize myself with this kitchen, so my cooking has been a bit lackluster. Come now, Sharon. Your skill is something to be praised. This is far more colorful and varied than the breakfast served in my own home. I would compare this spread favorably with the breakfast served in the Duke's household. <laughs> I'm honored that you think so. I've also brewed both tea and coffee if anyone would like some. I get the feeling Elisa is less than impressed with the meal. It sounds like they had a big argument yesterday. Not a chance! I thought I'd finally, finally gotten away from her. I'm not going to let her have her way this time. My lady, please. I truly don't believe the chairman sent me to keep an eye on you like that. She simply sent me so that her beloved daughter might have fewer inconveniences in her daily life. I can take perfectly good care of myself, thank you very much! Oh, fine! I'll take this up with her myself then. Is she in the office at corporate today, or is she out on inspection or something? I believe she'll be dining with the Ministry of Railways president in the capital today. After that, she'll be continuing her inspection tour, so she won't be back in Ruhr for another five days. Does she ever slow down? I'm surprised she doesn't burn through a pair of shoes a week. Anyway, I'm not going to take this lying down. She's stuck her nose into things one too many times. I can't believe that R actually stood for Elisa Reinford. And from the sound of it, her mother's the company chairman too. Yeah, I... I wasn't expecting that Elisa's mom is basically in charge of the continent's biggest industrial company. Her family's probably got more money than most of the aristocracy. I can see why she'd want to keep her family under wraps, what with all the nobles here. Anyway, I object to everything about this. Considering how busy Mother is, I'm sure she needs your assistance far more than I do. <laughs> I knew it. You're really concerned about her, aren't you? The way you two care so much for each other deep down is one of the reasons I'm so proud to serve you. Th that's preposterous! Oh, my lady, I almost forgot to mention that I made plenty of your favorite apricot jam. Would you like me to spread some on your toast? Ooh, really? I mean, stop treating me like a child. Though yes, I would like some jam. It's almost heartwarming to watch. <laughs> Looks like Sharon's got her number. Oh, Reen, did you just get back too? Oh, hey there, instructor. Welcome back. Well, the building's still standing, so I guess you all behaved yourselves. It looks like you've really thrown yourself into helping out the student council, Reen. But you spend all your time working, and life will just pass you by before you know it. Alas, if only my evil stepteacher would stop dumping a bunch of work on me and let me go to the ball. Hey, did something happen? You look really neat. Nothing bad. Just been real busy these last couple days. That Tova really needs to learn how to treat a lady. Honestly, don't make that much work on me. Come on, I'm too delicate for that. Uh, mm -hmm. I guess your hot date didn't turn out so well then? Huh? Of course it did. As if a night with me could fall short of unforgettable. He was just amazing. Such a gentleman. So strong. So passionate. But I'm afraid all the details might be more than you could handle. It's too soon to corrupt your poor, innocent heart. Yeah... I almost want to believe it, but... Yeah, I don't think so. Everything okay last night, then? Nothing major happened while I was away? Not particularly. Oh, wait. 
Actually, we had a woman show up claiming to be the dorm's new caretaker. Did you know about this? Oh, she's here already? I'd heard that the Reinford family was sending a maid, but I wasn't sure when she'd arrive. Something sure smells good, though. Oh, I'll bet that's Sharon fixing dinner. She's a great cook. She made breakfast for us today, too. Oh, I can hardly wait. This Class 7 gig has some real fringe benefits. I'll have to get her to whip up some snacks to go with my beer later. <laughs> Looks like she knew about Elisa's family after all. Welcome back, Master Bean. Lady Sarah. Oh, hey, Sharon. Good to see you. You can stop with the Master Bean stuff, though. It's not like I'm the one paying your salary. Oh, but that just wouldn't do at all. Politeness toward those I serve is part of the Maid's Code of Honor. <laughs> or might you prefer something more like, My dearest Reen? Whoa! Not in front of the teacher. <laughs> it's a pleasure to meet you. My name is Sharon. I was sent here to serve you courtesy of the Reinford family. I will do my utmost to cater to your every need. I hope I can be of service. Oh, the pleasure's all mine. Though if you don't mind my saying, you look a little familiar. Are you sure we haven't met somewhere before? Huh? I'm afraid we haven't. You certainly don't seem to be an individual one would easily forget. I look forward to serving you, Lady Sarah Valestine. Why, thank you, Sharon Kruger. This feels like a good time to make my exit. Hmm? This looks like... Don't worry about me. Well, I still have much to learn before I feel like I deserve my status among the nobility. I've been blessed with wonderful friends, and I'm enjoying life here at the Academy. I often feel more concerned for how you're faring in your own studies. Thor's Military Academy is well known for its connections to Emperor Dreykel's and its strenuous curriculum. And I worry that the dangers you face in your training could catch even you by surprise someday. I pray you don't neglect your own well-being. The world has many soldiers, but you're my only brother. Elise Schwarzer. <laughs> you never change, do you, Elise? No, oh, I guess it's probably me who hasn't changed much. should write back to her, and to mom and dad for that matter. Misty here, filling your speakers with wit and charm once again. I'm coming to you live from Radio Trista, and it's 9pm on this calm June 20th evening. Let's kick off this week's Aubin time. The weather around the capital has sure been wet lately, but not very wild. I thought that rain would never let up. Thanks to that, I ended up holed up in my room, even on my precious days off. Still, the end of June's just around the corner, which means summer festivals are in full swing across Erebonia. The festival out in the port city of Ordis is known for the breathtaking sight of hundreds of bonfires afloat on the bay. In the old capital of St. Ark, they know how to party hard with a festival that keeps going for five nights straight. Unfortunately, I've never been able to get out to either of them. I'm hoping to make it up to myself by taking the train to some far-off destination on my next vacation. Now, where would be the perfect place for this wayward traveler to visit? I'd love to visit Crossbell. Exploring its theme park and seeing one of Argonseal's theatrical performances would be great. 
But the thought of just riding to the end of the line and taking in the rustic beauty of the Nord Highlands is just so tempting. I know, Director, I know. Ah, is it too much to ask to let a girl dream big? do as bad as I was afraid I would. I can't believe Emma and Machias tied for the top score. Congrats, Machias. You always put up some impressive numbers. <laughs> Looks like you made good on your word after all. I suppose. Emma's the real natural, though. Oh, and not at all. We both just really hit those books this last month. I'm glad everyone did so well. Agreed. I scored higher this last time than I did on the entrance exam. I suppose I'll have to settle for third this time. <laughs> you make it look easy, Yusis. You must have really buckled down on your studies too, Reen. Landing in the top ten like that? Well, you all helped me out a lot. And you know what they say about a rising tide lifting all boats. I feel a bit left out. Ha! <laughs> you did really well, Fee. You must have had all the basics down pretty well to have scored like you did. If you can build on that in the next exam, I have no doubt you'll be able to score even higher. I guess. If I feel like it. By the way, there's something posted up over there. Oh, wow! It seems Class 7 had the highest average score. Excellent! I figure that might be the case considering we have the Academy's top three high scorers. <laughs> you talk as if a class I'm a member of could possibly fail to place first. Why do you always have to be so full of yourself? Boys, boys! I think we should be proud of what we've accomplished. Me too. Good work, everyone. Hip hip hooray. How humiliating! How could the pride of the Empire's nobility lose to those plebeians? And Elisa, thinking she could hide her roots that 